Steve Bazek Architect, you here, welcome back. So, today is pretty interesting. I'm gonna dive into an arena that I learned about a number of years ago when I uh, got invited to uh, visit this house. But I will admit, it's an area where I am anything but uh, fluent in what's going on in what we're about to talk about. But I wanted to really just show this as an eye opener um, so that you guys and gals can understand some things out there that you might not have been aware of. Because what I'm about to show you is the very first time I've ever seen this, but it is also the only time I have ever seen this. Um, and uh, not to say that they don't exist, because they do exist quite often. Um, and around because when I talk to other people they've heard of them. Um, not many people have seen them though. Um, so without further ado I know I'm teasing you here but uh, we're looking at this. It's a new construction but it's actually an older house or uh, older looking house and you can see they did this bow roof and uh, you know just really nice kind of New England features. This house is in Connecticut. I forget actually what town it was. Um, honestly, it was probably, uh, probably close to 20 years, maybe even more since I visit this. But uh, what are we gonna talk about? Well, we're gonna talk about boilers. Yep. But not any boiler, um, in general, but one very specific. So maybe you have heard of it. Gasification. Yeah, gasification boiler. Now, what is a gasification boiler? So gasification is basically a chemical process that converts organic material. In this case, the gentleman was using wood into a gas. And it burns so um, efficiently and at such a high temperature that um, the primary gases that are produced through here are carbon monoxide, hydrogen, and methane. And it goes through a process that's called um, pri, P, R, I. And like I said, I am a little bit out of my league on this one, but I wanted to share this with you. Priolysis. And priolysis is the decomposition of an organic material at such a high temperature that it gasifies the solid, right? You put a piece of wood in there and it's burned so efficiently, so hot, that it literally turns the log into gas. And that's where you get the gasification process. Now, the minute I turn it into gas, it is this extremely hot gas. And that gas, I can then turn around and use it to heat hot water. And in this case here, the whole house heating system, um, this one was a baseboard hot water system, and their potable hot water, you know, shower, laundry, all that stuff, um, was all generated from the boiler. And typically, these boilers um, are used, I'm told, and this is all hearsay, like I said, I'm not an expert in this, um, they're used a lot in the agricultural community because they're built, they're, um, um, kind of custom built. There are some companies that make them, but this one here was built by um, a company that makes them for the agricultural community. So it is rather large. You're going to see a picture of it here, but um, they're just, it was just a really cool concept. And, and I have seen them where the boilers are potentially in an outbuilding somewhere, and then they just pipe the hot water to the building that they need it, especially in the agricultural community out there. Um, so let's take a look at one, right? So there's a picture of it, right? And basically what happens inside there is that you introduce 
some, um, I don't know where I can draw this. Let's draw it up here, right? I'll introduce a log or a couple logs and they are on a system where there is a negative pressure induced into the system. And so what happens is, is that they actually burn down, right? But you got to remember, they're changing it into a gas. They're not just burning the wood and leaving a bunch of ashes. There's literally nothing left because you're gasifying the uh, solid. I mean, I'm sure there's probably some things they have to clean out, but the gentleman that owned this house, um, he heated it with a couple armloads of wood a day um, because it burns so efficient. But the other thing is, is that because it burns at such a high temperature, um, you can use any kind of wood. So he was going around, he had a large farm property and he was going around and collecting dead wood in, in the, in the um, forest and stuff and bringing it back. So it becomes a very uh, energy efficient at that point because you're using a bunch of uh, wood that doesn't really have a use anymore other than to exchange it for heat and you're burning it at such a high temperature that um, you're taking that kind of wasted wood and you're turning it into energy for the house. But because there's that induced draft, you get the gas, that heated gas coming out, but the wood is actually burning on top. So it's not like a standard chimney where you heat up the wood and half of the heat goes up into the chimney. So not only are you gaining the 100% of energy out of that wood, but you're capturing 100% of that heated gas. Nothing is going up the flue there. And it goes through a whole series of chambers and it heats up hot water, um, et cetera, et cetera. And, um, and then that water can get stored in a super insulated tank if you were using it, in his case, for potable water. But um, <clears throat> a lot of the secret to this is, is if we go around the other side, it's a little hard to see here, but there's a bunch of little doors and vents. This is the big door where you put the logs in. And like I said, he was throwing in like two by four waste, um, just any kind of wood and you're throwing it in there. Obviously you don't want to throw in soaking wet damp wood, but any type of dried wood that you find in the forest, he was using off cuts and stuff, waste um, wood that he would get from around. But notice there's a whole bunch of cables here and those cables and one of the secrets, you can see them there and they're tied to little motors. Well, they open up, there's a series of damper doors on the front of that because the gasification project really relies on a well-tuned amount of oxygen that it induces into the flame that allows it to burn at that high temperature. Very, very efficient. I mean, if you want to learn more, go Google it. You can learn a hell of a lot more on Google, but I was just trying to, the first time I've ever seen one, like I said, and I wanted to uh, share that with you. But, uh, you know, the, these boilers, they just produce a far more cost-effective and efficient heating system. And if you think about it, if you had like a larger property, you could put one of these kind of in the outbuilding barn, and then you could pipe the water around, especially if you're in a somewhat rural community where, um, you know, you could do heat pumps for air conditioning and then use this, something like this, to generate your hot water um, in a very, very efficient way. Um, let's just take a, a couple more peeks at these here. Right here you can see there's the flu and there's the fan. And what that fan is doing is basically inducing the negative flow through the system, right? It's pumping stuff up the flue, but what it's really doing is, is it's drawing that air in through the vents, the right amount of oxygen. It's going through the gasification process, pulling that gas through the system, using it through a series of exchangers inside there to heat the hot water. And then 
it throws it up the chimney, but it doesn't throw it up at the chimney until it's done its job inside that boiler system. So anyways, I just thought, man, this was really cool. I mean, it's, it's, it's energy efficient, right? Because you're using literally every bit of the source, that piece of wood, whether it's a, a cut off two by um, material or it's dead wood from the forest or tree that you cut down, whatever the case is. Um, I'm told the longevity of these things because there's not a whole lot happening. It's just, it's a chemical process that's somewhat natural um, to gasify it. They last a very, very long time. And, and again, the adaptability of this system, right? You're heating up basically hot water and you get this really intense hot water out of the system that you can then use um, through a number of mediums to produce heat for different systems. And of course, you know, I don't want to talk about it um, in depth, but you're using waste products here. So there is a, a, you know, if you're into carbon counting and carbon footprint, there's certainly a, a pretty heavily reduced carbon footprint with a system like this um, because, again, you're using a lot of waste product that uh, has that energy stored in it and you're gasifying it and then using it in a, another way. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed that. Like I said, um, this is, you know, the, the intro to the intro of <laughs> gasification boilers. I'm not here to, to doubt that I'm an expert in it. It was just something I saw in my travels that was really cool. I get people that call me out of the blue saying, hey, we're doing this, you should come by and see it and stuff. And this just happened to be uh, a friend of another project that I went to see that was pretty cool. And um, so we stopped by here to get the little uh, show and tell of his gasification um, boiler down in the basement. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm Steve Basic Architect. Until next time, long live our buildings.